Jordan looked identical. He was a spinning image of my son. So seeing that, it was like seeing my own kid kind of die. And I think a lot of Clearwater and Largo felt that way. Jordan Beliveau would have turned three years old today. Now a new law is in the works inspired by the Largo toddler's tragic death. You may remember this case. Jordan's mother, Cherie Stinson, is charged with the murder of her son. After months of investigation, documents showed that were it not for mistakes made in the child welfare system to send him back to her custody, Jordan might still be alive today. Jordan's story touched many of us, especially one mom in Clearwater. Miranda Hofstetter, as you just heard, says her two-year-old son, Derek, looks just like Jordan Beliveau. In the days following Jordan's death, Miranda started a petition for change in the welfare system. Her efforts caught the attention of lawmakers, and now Jordan's law is close to becoming a reality. 10 News reporter Liz Crawford explains. Jordan Beliveau's death was tragic and unnecessary. His death shines a spotlight on the inadequacies of our broken child welfare system. On Monday, lawmakers introduced a bill known as Jordan's Law. If passed, it will accomplish three things to better protect kids in Florida's child welfare system. Number one, reduce the caseload. Child welfare workers are overwhelmed and underpaid. The turnover rate causes communication and training problems. The new law would slash caseloads from 30 to 15. Number two, better communication between the agencies expected to protect children. His death was caused by a lack of communication between law enforcement and DCF. Jordan's law would create a shared space for data and information relevant to keeping children away from violent caregivers. And finally, number three, more training. If passed, Florida will become the first state to have mandatory brain injury education for all child welfare professionals. Brain injury is the leading cause of death and disability among all forms of child abuse and neglect. There's something called hypoxia, where children are being choked and strangled and oxygen is cut off from their brain. The training is for law enforcement, case managers, judges, attorneys, anybody involved in the system, and will go over the warning signs of head trauma, the very thing that led to Jordan Beliveau's death. And the website jordanslaw.com is now live. You can sign a petition in support of that proposed legislation and also track the bill's progress. It's almost been a year since Jordan's death. On September 2nd, Jordan's mom called Largo police and told them that someone abducted the two-year-old little boy. An Amber Alert was issued. Then the next day, on September 3rd, family members and friends started searching for Jordan but could not find him. On Tuesday, September 4th, police found Jordan's body in a wooded area. That next day, his mother, Cherie Stinson, reportedly admitted to investigators that she had made up the entire story about the kidnapping and admitted to hitting the toddler, causing him to suffer seizures, then taking his body to that wooded area.